Hey, I'm Michael Rosso from the Film Photography Project. And I'm Matt Mirage, uh, FPP co-host. That's right. Here we are today in the studio to talk about a new camera that was introduced by the Lomography Society called La Sardinia, a.k.a. El Capitan. It is modeled after a sardine can, and it is a 35-millimeter camera with an extremely wide lens. This camera, you can remove the, the flash attachment. On the oh, side nice. here is a little button. And I just shot an entire roll of 35 millimeter film, and I want to, of course, rewind the film. Right here on top is your rewind. So I just shot a roll of 36 exposure film, and now I'm rewinding the film into its magazine. Okay, so now it kind of, it stopped making a noise. It was going, eh, 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 eh. So now you know the film is rewound. So we, after you're done shooting, you remove your flash. Here's a button. This opens the back of the camera. It's not too easy to, like, pop it open accidentally, is it? It's oh, pretty, pretty there tight. there it is. Oh, wow, it just comes all the way off. Back is off. Pops open. And film comes out. So to load a, a roll of uh, film into your La Sardinia or other camera from this uh, series, you just uh, put the film canister here. You uh, lock this down. You pull the film over to the other side. And in here is a little a slot where your film goes into. And I usually kind of just guide it by holding it. And then you start winding. Got it. And now we're set. Once you know your film is, is, is there, once you know your film is being taken up by the take-up spool, because let's, let's be frank, folks, how many folks out there have <laughs> loaded my 35-millimeter camera, shot the whole roll to find out you never loaded it at all? Guilty, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So we're going to put this back on. And it on. fits over. It doesn't fit right up against it. There's a little overlap. So You hear a click, and now you're ready to go. By the way, you will need to pull your lens out, twist to your left, Pull the lens out, like so, and then twist again till you feel a little click. No violence. No violence. You will roll your film to the first exposure here. Wind. It clicks into place. Nice. The focus on this camera, by the way, is this black, uh, this black circular right here on the lens. And focusing, you have either a nasty-looking fly, which means, you know, close up. Macro, yeah. Or you turn it to you have, as the uh, as the FPP listeners in London said, three blokes. For those tech folks out there who want to know f stops and shutter speeds, I have a little cheat sheet Ooh. at the bottom. This camera is has a fixed f stop of f8 and a fixed shutter speed of one one hundredth of a second. Flash, by the way, comes with the camera. This particular model has a flash. That's pretty nice. Uh, it's very simple to use. It has a little compartment here, and this takes what's known as a CR123 battery. That's CR123. It's a very standard, common lithium battery that you can get at any Radio Shack, Best Buy. Yeah, they go in a lot of digital cameras, so they're bound to have them. Yeah. Put it in here like so, and then just with a thread, you just thread it right in. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to look through the eyepiece and shoot like map, but put them on the left-hand side of the frame. And now, instead of going to our next frame, I'm going to go to this MX button. Okay. That allows you to shoot another frame on the same exposure. Oh, cool. So you can do multiple exposures. The fly. Awesome. Special thanks to the folks, Linda and the folks at Lomography UK, who um, uh, gave us the camera at FPP to kick around, shoot, get used to, uh, figure out, and find out what kind of cool things it can do. 
As always, filmphotographypodcast at gmail.com. You. Uh, of course, our site, filmphotographypodcast.com. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha